AI Initiative completes the line. Stand by for a start. They're at the post. They're off for program 27 of the season and 2021 Prince of Wales Stakes Day at Fort Erie Racetrack and they came bounding out of there together. Short lead into the turn for Giant Mine. Florida One is going to be latching onto the speed and running widest of all into that turn. Martini Sue still right up with the pace, the AI initiative, and post time favored I Idolize You is in reserve to the rear of the field, but only three off the lead, taken by Giant Mine. The field's long shot leads them by two over to the backstretch. Florida One, the second choice, forced out wide out around AI and initiative and Martini Sue on the fence and I idolize you keeping a stretch run in reserve to the rear of the group. So along the back stretch it's still giant mine. The opening quarter was 24 and 4, speeding up 24 and 2 in the second split to a half of 49 and 1. Giant mine into the turn. Martini Sue is going to get the rail run if she wants, and Martini Sue will be able to look through the inside lane, but Giant Mine is not being allowed anyone to get into the race just yet. Florida One is under a hard ride. I Idolize You may need a way through, and Melanie Pinto scraping the paint off the fence is trying desperately to find running room for I Idolize You. Giant Mine brought him into the top of the stretch. I Idolize You in a tight squeeze, but did get through. And I idolize you, drills right on through. And on the fence is a going away winner. I idolize you, saved all of the ground, and Melanie Pinto wins it going away. Finishing second, AI initiative, and then back to Florida One, Giant Mine, and Martini Sue. I idolize you, a prevailing one to two favorite in the opener. Stand by for a start. They're off in the Rondo Bay Stakes. And a poor start for Sunray, Sunsprite along the inside. Red Equinox moved on through. It's Rain Secret that burst right out of there to lead it. Benny's button on the outside of Silent Guru. And then Red Equinox is into the front four. Careful Java, about five more lengths, is back there in fifth. Then ring them bells. And after a delayed start, Sunsprite is back of the field. Into the turn they will go after a spirited opening quarter of 22 and 1, laid down by local long shot Rain Secret. Benny's Button running on the outside of Silent Guru and Red Equinox. Checked up on the turn there. Careful Java yet to be heard from. Sunsprite making a huge recovery is really rolling for Luis Contreras on the outside. And Ring Them Bells is the gapped off trailer into the stretch. They're in the lane after a half in 45 and 4. Sunsprite still out widest. Red Equinox has picked off the leaders and come on through against Benny's Button. Benny's Button. Red Equinox and Sunrise, it's Red Equinox. Chris Husband's almost there. Red Equinox scores in the Rondo Bay Stakes over Sunsprite. And then back to Benny's Button and Careful Java, Red Equinox and Chris Husband's win the Rondo Bay in 111.
They're off in race three. Jumping first was Moon Rover, the best beginning of all. Pastel Emily, an early speed factor, so is eight speed. And the favored Dad's Missy is the widest one. On the outside flank of Ryan Ginger. And in reserve, as usual, is Classy Vision to the rear of the field, saving her stretch run for later. So along the back stretch, it's eight speed, mixing it up a plenty with Moon Rover. Pastel Emily is in a snug spot. Ryan Ginger in between. Dad's Missy is running up three wide in this front five and going right on at the leaders. And Classy Vision by four more lengths is the trailer in the group. Eight speed supplying the speed of 22 and two. Dad's Missy is the widest one. Has to do more though. Pastel Emily in between. Off the fence, Ryan Ginger vaulting up wide. And then it's back to Moon Rover and Class C Vision is searching a way through. She's going to find it down in on the fence. Eight speed is still going. Pastel Emily, the favorite Dad's Missy is defeated. Classy Vision came on through, through the stretch, eight speed. Classy Vision, the hard closer is coming on to take it all. Classy Vision passes them all for a memorable win on Prince of Wales Stakes Day to run down eight speed. And Classy Vision, seldom better with her closing style in 111 and one. All Canadian completing the line. Stand by for a start race four in the gate. They're off in the Lake Erie Stakes. And tentatively away was all Canadian. It's blind trust to surge for the early lead. Chased by Savvy Layla. Forest Survivor is going to flash speed. Glitter Mountain is up in the front four. Exceed got away in fifth. Passed by Red River Rebel on the outside. Dragon's Brew is second to last. And the tardy starting all Canadian is to the rear of the field. They will move into the turn with Forest Survivor on a tentative rail control confronted by Blind Trust and Savvy Layla running aggressively three wide. Red River Rebel is coming on into the front four onto the turn. Dragon's Brew shows up in the front five. Glitter Mountain fading away. All Canadian tries to recover from a bad start and exceed as far back of the group. The speed has been 22 and 2, 44 and 4. Savvy Layla looming bold and widest of all hauling down blind trust on her outside here comes forest survivor forest survivor has it well timed for kazushi kimura through the stretch taking over red river rebel red river rebel drawing off for rafael hernandez to win by a big margin over dragon's brew blind trust savvy Layla, all right there but red river rebel much the best in race four to take down the lake erie stakes They're off. Tentatively away was Lil's Not Crying in about a six-length hole early on. You're All Right has cut, 
A flyer out of the gate and takes the early lead on Seamus and Shotgun Blast. That's Deputy of Egbert up into the front four. Poroso is far back, so is Lil's not crying. So onto the turn with Shotgun Blast and Michael David deciding to drill on through and take the lead from Seamus and you're all right. Deputy of Egbert by two more lengths, running along in fourth. Poroso will have to do more, but is gaining on the turn from fifth, and then Lil's Not Crying is trailing in the field. Shotgun Blast, 22 and 1, sizzling opening speed. Shotgun Blast trying to bring this speed up to the wire over Seamus, and you're all right. Peroso, Deputy of Egbert, and Lil's Not Crying, and Shotgun Blast is almost home. Shotgun Blast is clear by five in late stretch. Five to two, and Shotgun Blast was alone to win. Lil's Not Crying closing last to second. You're All Right was third. Peroso was fourth. Shotgun Blast in a snappy 58 and two. Sayo at three to one is last in. Stand by for a start. They're at the post. They're off in the inaugural Lusanki MSA Cup. Big action from the outside early. Sayo, money matters, be very, very quiet, flashing speed. Awesome minor down the middle. Then Bay of Rum and Jack Beanstalk. Wild scrap for the early lead by six of them. Third to last, that was Drana's Bullet, and the trailing pair are the Mighty Judge and Gold Venture along the inside. Be very, very quiet. Money matters. Sayo runs just behind them in third, and Jack Beanstalk is well positioned along the inside from fourth. Bay of Rum is hugging the fence in fifth. Awesome Minor, sixth outside. Drana's Bullet trying to gain from seventh. Gold Venture, second to last, and the trailer to the turn is the Mighty Judge. So it's been a big speed battle for a long time. Long time, Money Matters finally is giving in to be very, very quiet, looking ready to pounce. Here comes Seau, and Jack Beanstalk is right there. Awesome Miner is fifth, and they turn for home in the inaugural La Sankey MSA Cup. Be very, very quiet. Attacked on the outside by Seau. Through the stretch, they will come. Seau takes a short late stretch lead. It's Seau grinding away from a long way back. Drana's bullet still plugging. Be very, very quiet. Seau to win it by a long neck. Seau conqueror of be very, very quiet. And then back to Drana's bullet and Jack Beanstalk and Seau takes a hard fought monumental victory. And the running time is 116 and 3. They're off. Coming out first right along the inside is Lost Corsage with Play It Smart. Terra Empire was fast away. Enhanced finance from the outside. Terms and conditions decides to run up near the pace in between horses. And the back marker is Leave It With Me. So it's Lost Corsage off as the heavy favorite at 1-2. to two, Going to set the tempo. Lost Corsage leads him onto the turn. Enhanced finance moving up from the extreme outside. Terms and conditions has lost a little bit of ground. Terra Empire is on the outside flank of Play It Smart. And three more lengths to Leave It With 
with me, leaving a lot of work to do and not much time to do it. They're in the stretch after a quarter in 22 and 3. Lost Corsage coming under siege from Enhanced Finance. Enhanced Finance on the outside. Lost Corsage has to dig in again and is still going. Lost Corsage. Enhanced Finance gave it her all but just couldn't reach. Lost Corsage, your prevailing favorite. Enhanced Finance was second. Ahead Bob for third and fourth. Involving terms and conditions against Terra Empire as Lost Corsage prevails in 59 seconds flat. Feature Creature just down to 5-2. to two. Stand by for a start. The eighth race in the gate. They're off in the 2021 running of the Molson Cup at Fort Erie Racetrack. Gray Zerion comes right out of there ahead of Princess Morrow and the heavily favored Cheeky Pint. To run up near the pace, Express Banking is up in the front four as they'll move into the turn. Naked Illusion is along the inside. On the inside flank of the second choice feature creature and back of the group will be Capoeira into the first of two turns. So it's Gray Zerion to set the early tempo over to this Fort Erie backstretch. Princess Morrow is along in second. Cheeky Pint biding time on the outside flank of Naked Illusion. Looking to run up widest on the outside of them is Express Banking, wanting to gain some middle stages positions. And along the back stretch, Feature Creature, looking like she needs a way through, got shut off there, and Capoeira has been trailing. So it's still Gray Zerion through uniform equal splits of 24 and 48. Gray Zerion still unbothered on the lead. Losing ground all the way back to last. Cheeky Pint is in trouble. So on the final turn, upset in the making. Gray Zerion loose at 25 to 1. Princess Morrow at 40 to 1. Here comes Naked Illusion at 23 to 1. Express Banking on the extreme outside. And then Feature Creature looking desperate for a way through ahead of Capoeira and Cheeky Pint. Maybe not today. Gray Zerion into the stretch. Express Banking is the live wire on the extreme outside. Through six furlongs in 112 and two. Gray Zerion, Feature Creature, finally shakes loose. Here comes Feature Creature. Feature Creature at three to one will be up to win the Molson Cup. Just running down brave long shot Gray Zerion. Express Banking was third. Princess Morrow finished fourth. Feature Creature and Kazushi Kimura in 145 and 1 to capture the Molson Cup. They're off. Good start on the outside for Banger Ridge, trying to beat them all out of there. To the extreme outside are Fa Fa Fui and What's on Tap. And closer to the inside, Brady O'Brady and Tail of Vienna. And Cheek to Cheek is a close up trailer as they move along the backstretch. Banger Ridge and Michael David designated to set the tempo. Tail of Vienna along the inside, flanked by Brady O'Brady and Fa Fa Fui running three deep. Cheek to Cheek has come on through along the inside. And the last one to the turn will be what's on tap. So over to the turn they will go after a spirited enough opening quarter of 22 and 2. 
and it's still Banger Ridge waiting for a challenger. Cheek to Cheek is starting to circle horses. Widest of all, out around Fa Fa Fui. And then Brady O'Brady, Tail of Vienna, and what's on tap, the closer, is in reserve. They're in the stretch after a half mile of 45 and 1, and Banger Ridge is still going. Cheek to Cheek is in hot pursuit through the stretch. Banger Ridge. Cheek to cheek, and Antonio Gallardo trying to time it. They will. Cheek to cheek is up in time to run down Banger Ridge. Fafa Fui was third, and what's on tap a closing fourth? Cheek to cheek, and Antonio Gallardo with perfect timing. 109 and 2. Luis Contreras in search of his fourth. Prince of Wales stakes title, takes gate five with H.C. Holiday. The locally trained Ready at Dawn and Mark Buchanan. Harlan Estate is in willingly for Kazushi Kimura. Rafael Hernandez taking the outside gate with Keep Grinding. They're at the post. They're off for the 2021 and 86th running of the Prince of Wales Stakes, and what a good even beginning. Hadassah tried to show some early speed. Ready at Dawn is going to be put out front. Harlan Estate is on the outside. Hadassah right there at third. Keep Grinding is up in the outside. Fourth of Tidal Forces. H.C. Holiday is third from last. Then Avoman and Curlins catches the trailer as they pass the grandstand to the roar of the crowd in Fort Erie and round the turn for their tour of this Fort Erie backstretch. The opening quarter speed was 23 and 3, made by longest on the board, Ready at Dawn, and Hadassah is in pursuit. Very much a rider's tactical race here. Tidal Forces, third on the inside, and Harlan Estate not far away from fifth. Moving up on the inside, that's H.C. Holiday waiting for developments. Then Keep Grinding is in between horses. And back of the group along the backstretch, that's Avoman starting to kick into gear. It's still ready at dawn through middle half speed of 47 and 1. Tagging along from second has been Hadassah. Title forces, then keep grinding, endeavoring to move up and starting a move. Harlan Estate is now improving. Harlan Estate on the outside of Title forces, and Hadassah goes on and passes. The tempo setting ready at dawn. It's getting interesting now as the tempo quickens. H.C. Holiday is weaving on through. They'll move to the top of the stretch with Harlan Estate widest on the outside of Tidal Forces and Hadassah. H.C. Holiday still needing a way through. Three quarters in one, 11 and two. They're in the stretch of the 86th running of the Prince of Wales Stakes. Hadassah hanging on grimly. Harlan Estate right at his throat latch. Hadassah, Hadassah is digging in deep. Hadassah is champion of the Prince of Wales Stakes. Holding off Harlan Estate. Keep grinding was third. H.C. Holiday settling for fourth. Curlin's catch was only fifth best in the end. And Gary Boulanger engineers a great upset with Hadassah in 156 in the Prince of Wales Stakes.
They're off in the finale on Prince of Wales Stakes Day at Fort Erie Racetrack. Great break for Splendida from the extreme outside. Loaded once more is part of the early pace, so is Savoia down along the inside. They're going to be tracked by Classy Delight along the back stretch. Tourist attraction will run up near the pace. A bigger gap back to light it up and twick as the trailer. So it's three across, front end action on the way to the final turn with Savoia flanked by Loaded Once More and Splendida. And uh, catching them a little bit is Classy Delight up in fourth. Tourist Attraction still fifth. And then Twick and Lighted Up the back markers. Tourist Attraction has suddenly backed away from the field. Savoia at four to one will bring him to the top of the stretch. After speed of 22 and four and 46 and one, it's Savoia loaded once more. Backing away after battling was Splendida and coming through Classy Delight is now seeking a way on through. They're in the stretch. Savoia made the pace. Classy Delight has split them. On the outside, loaded once more, but it's Classy Delight and Devin Johnson finding a way on through. Classy Delight is going to win by wide open lengths in the nightcap. Here's loaded once more for second. Then for third, Savoia hung on over Lighted Up. Twick was fifth. The bottom out, the jackpot high five. And Classy Delight won by wide open lengths at 9 to 2 in 118 and 4.
Jim Shot. Welcome back, everyone, to Live Racing 2021 from Fort Erie Racetrack in the Fort Erie, Buffalo, Niagara Falls region. It's another summer-like day out there with the temperature climbing up into the mid to high 70s. Or at uh, the time we come on the air here, it's 23 Celsius and climbing to, we believe, about 25 Celsius before the day is through. Regrettably, because of just a little bit of overnight rain, we have to be off the turf course today. But all set for an eight-race program on Monday for you as we move into the final 12-race date segment of the year of 2021 from Fort Erie Racetrack with first post at 1 p.m. in less than 33 minutes. We invite you to visit FortErieRacing.com often for the live high definition stream, updates on the racing action, your admission application if you'd care to be with us live at the races and much more, check back often to FortErieRacing.com. And our live racing schedule through to October 26th, every Monday and Tuesday, live racing action coming to you at 1 p.m from Fort Erie Racetrack. The Turfside Dining Room is open and we look forward to hosting you sometime soon. It's a delicious and inexpensive way to kick up your enjoyment of your afternoon and early evening at the races. Reservations are required, so call 905-871-3200, extension 3617. And we hope for the privilege of hosting you soon at Fort Erie Racetrack in the Turfside Dining Room. The Paddock Shack is now open right beside the walking ring and the picnic tables and the park beside the walking ring with hamburgers, hot dogs, sausages, french fries, poutine, soft drinks and beer. Be sure if you go out to the walking ring to make a stop out there at the Paddock Shack open to serve you at Fort Erie Racetrack. Become a member today of HPIBet.com and get $100 deposited into your account. You can watch four tracks at the same time on your laptop or on your device. You can wager on almost 500 tracks from around the world online or at the tracks at any time. So if you don't already have your account, check it out and join for free today, HPIBet.com. Racebook is in operation at Fort Erie Racetrack for your convenience and the best in simulcast racing, noon to 7.30, Wednesday through Sunday, and a little later on Friday nights to accommodate the end of the Woodbine Thoroughbred program. For the complete list of simulcast tracks offered, visit FortErieRacing.com. That's Racebook, back open to serve you Wednesday through Sunday. Your TV Niagara is your exclusive home for post time from Fort Erie Racetrack. Local cable channel 700 in Fort Erie, Welland, Niagara Falls, and the entire Niagara region. The show airs Friday evening at 7 p.m., Saturday afternoon at 12.30 p.m. Post time from Fort Erie Racetrack only on Your TV Niagara. Now with your pens and pencils at the ready, here are the changes. In the first race, to keep going, we'll be racing one pound over. Five, my Joe, a vet scratch from the first race. In race two, weight changes, two optimistical, one pound over. Six, king of awesome, two pounds over. From the third race, Stewart's scratch of six zoological. The third race will be contested at a mile and 70 yards on the main track off the turf race three. In the fourth race, one simply a zoomer, two pounds over, two outclass, one pound over, Five, spending spree, four pounds over. Seven, step it up, Stephanie, 
three pounds over. The eight, story straight, four pounds over. And there is a missing workout for number nine, smart and quick. Breezed on September 17th, four furlongs in 50.4 seconds. The missing breeze for nine, smart and quick from last Friday in the fourth. Out of the fifth race, Stewart's scratches of one Maxima only and two Fantastic Breeze. Race five to be contested at five furlongs on the main track. Three awesome JMR awesome silence, two pounds over. Number five, Hee Haw, one pound over. Six, Make It Rain, two pounds over. The eight, Trinity Thunder, racing one pound over. And the nine, Royal Fanfare, four pounds over. In the sixth race, four, Dynamite Karma, racing two pounds over. Six, Garrison's Charge, should be noted as a first-time gelding. First-time gelding on six. Garrison's Charge in the sixth. Seventh race is clear will go as programmed with no changes. In the eighth race, one Leonard's Bay, Stewart's Scratch. Four World of Prospects, Stewart's Scratch. Three Captain Sydney has a rider change, make it Juan Crawford. Juan Crawford rides three. Captain Sydney in the eighth. Six Street Legal is a Veth scratch. Seven Butterfly Strike is a Stewards scratch out of the eighth. The eighth race will be conducted at six and a half furlongs on the main track. And we want to welcome you back to uh, what we consider the concluding segment of the racing season. Twelve programs to go, including today, right through to October 26th for the 2021 campaign here at Fort Erie Racetrack, just to visit uh, in the interest of accountability back to uh, Prince of Wales Stakes Day, a wonderful day here last Tuesday when we were last with you. None in our panel of selectors and handicappers selected the winner, Hadassah, who uh, went off uh, almost seven to one and kicked back 1550 on the win ticket. It was a um, race really kind of lacking a standout, but that's kind of what made it exciting in the end. We had a great stretch run involving Hadassah and Harlan Estate, and great to see one of the uh, really good guys and veterans of Ontario racing, Gary Boulanger, come through with his first Prince of Wales Stakes riding victory. As for our uh, statistical handicapping department today, Ashley Mayu, in the uh, free online tip sheet on our website, FortEerieRacing.com leads us on to a horse for a course. That comes up in the sixth race, so let's get into the meat of uh, handicapping this Monday program from Fort Erie Racetrack. In the first race, six furlongs on the main for the claiming field. I'm going 2-1-6 and six in this spot with Keep Going. Maybe on the verge of a breakthrough here on the basis of the uh, class drop Recent sharp form by virtue of top three finishes, so maybe it's the day to step forward for to keep going in the first. That's certainly the consensus view of our panel, Ashley Mayu, who writes our tip sheet, and great work again over the weekend on the Gulfstream Park uh, signal. Ashley Mayu, great to watch you down in Florida and keep up the great work, and we're really happy to have you as our tip sheet author and track handicapper again this year at Fort Erie Racetrack. The daily racing form going with two keep going in the first race and Bill McGurr's morning line also on side with number two keep going. In race two, I'm going one, five and six, born to be king. Uh, on the basis of being a good runner up last time and the winner was just a way too tough the uh, winner of that race was Jersey Diamond, born to be king, gave it a good effort and uh, just could not get a very strong winner that day. So in agreement, our track handicapper, Ashley Mayu, the daily racing form, Bill McGurr's morning line 
uh, goes with another breeze. And uh, this is an interesting situation because Juan Crawford back on draw day, it appears as he would have been offered number three, Abstemius, a last start winner, or number five, another breeze. And he opts off of the last start winner to go on to five, another breeze. Another breeze, though, is only one for 13 lifetime, born to be king, one for 19 lifetime. So we don't anticipate there will be a strong favorite in race two. The start of the early 20 cent pick four. In the third race, off the turf, mile and 70 yards on the main track. Five, two, and one is the direction I'm going to go. A wonderful, consistent, recent form for number five, Wiley O'Reilly. Sharon Chicago and Mark Buchanan teaming up on this one. After a good runner up outing last time, uh, gets some class relief today, moving down from the 6250 to the 4500 level. So that's the basis of what um, persuaded me to put Wiley O'Reilly on the top of my ticket. However, everybody else on the panel goes to four nights on what appears to be a very power move class drop here, a very aggressive uh, move down for four nights. Two thirds price reduction for four nights, who last time had to race against Seau. And if you watch the uh, replay package, Seau was just terrific here last Tuesday in winning the uh, inaugural edition of the uh, Lysankium SA Cup. So that's a good frame of reference. Four Knights and Wiley O'Reilly, I anticipate, will be the top couple of choices in race three. On to the fourth race, five and a half furlongs and a nice field of 10 here. Two, four, and one is the way I'm going to go. I thought Outclass raced really well last time, has really come around for Team Alderson, and in this third start, maybe it's her day to step up and pose for a victory photo. Uh, she was only beaten last time by a Toronto ship-in class dropper from Woodbine by the name of Rule the Sea, so maybe it's the day for Outclass to front step them all the way to the victory. Let's see how the track is playing out. Jeffrey Alderson has a wonderful familiarity with this one. After a couple of very, very creditable runner-up efforts, maybe it's her day to shed uh, this maiden status. Ashley Mayu, the Daily Racing Form, and Bill McGurr's Morning Line, all siding with the class dropper Pippi for James Goldenberg and Melanie Pinto. This one does not get my top call vote on the basis of being a 16-start maiden coming into this affair in the fourth. On to race five, five furlongs on the main track, and I'm going to go seven, eight, and six. Looks like they're pulling out all the stops on Homelander. With the blinkers going on today, was going to be moving over to the turf. Now the race is off the turf, going to be staying on the main track, but that's okay because uh, Homelander had been racing on the Tapita at Woodbine and of course here in Fort Erie on the main track. So let's see what game Homelander brings today for Ashley Bernas, Colebrook Farms and Jeffrey Alderson with the blinkers going on for this class dropping attempt. Ashley Mayu goes with number eight, Trinity Thunder. One I can't uh, recommend for top call on the basis of being a 21 start maiden. That's a tough statistic to go against. Sometimes they do, though. Bill McGurr sides with me on seven, Homelander in race five. <laughs> on to the sixth race. I'll go with three, one, and two. We mentioned the uh, tip sheet online on FortEarieRacing.com. Under the betting tab and click on the free tip sheet. And Ashley May, who has a really good description of the chances of number three, strategic vision. What a true horse for a course. Strategic Vision, eight starts here in Fort Erie, five wins and three-thirds. That's good enough for a consensus top call on Strategic Vision. In the seventh race, two, three, and four is the way I'll go. Giving it a great effort last time was Big Time Louie. A couple of starts back. He tossed the rider, Mark Buchanan, at the start, but it was much better last time, battling all the way, 
in the end, only second by a neck. Maybe it's big time Louis Day to break through for a victory. The only dissenting view is from Bill McGurr, our track handicapper, who goes with last start winner cause for alarm. Cause for alarm set off speed of 22 and 45 last time and came on past for the win. Let's see if cause for alarm is as good this time. All credit to George Newland, the trainer, who has really made a good racehorse out of this one after he showed up here back on June 15th, very headstrong and almost out of control. Now he's calmed down, goes about his business well, and maybe Howard Newell will be bringing him a long way from off the pace again today and maybe making a stern bid again for a top prize in that seventh race. In the eighth race, we lose half of the field due to scratches, including one, four, six, and seven. The race will be contested at six and a half furlongs on the main track, and the jackpot high five will carry over to tomorrow with almost $4,500 in that carryover pool. Number two, Bold Animo. On the uh, basis of leaving the stakes company, the Puss in Boots stake, uh, back on September 6th for this modest claiming group, maybe Bold Animo will get it first across to the wire. Uh, this, in my view, got the nod from me even before the scratches. 11 wins from 64 lifetime starts. What a great veteran this one has been. And the next paycheck will put this one over $200,000 in life's earnings. And so for all of those reasons, that's why I put Bold Animo on the top of my eighth race ticket. Good luck with all of your selections and thanks for being with us. A beautiful summer-like day here in Fort Erie. The flags are absolutely limp out there. The main track is playing fast. 16 minutes to first race post time from Fort Erie Racetrack.
Riders up, they're on their way to the track. Answering the Reinhold Nagel call to the post. Horses are stepping onto the track for the first race. Here's the first race field on post parade past the grandstand. Union Appreciation 1, trained by Ashley Burness for Colebrook Farms. Hired to ride is Chris Husbands. Keep going, number two, conditioned by Scott Fairley for Krista Clemmer. The rider is Sonny Singh. Loquacious, number three. Racing for Catherine Morissette, conditioner Beverly Chubb, and atop is Juan Crawford. Rapid Beat is number four, trained by Elliot Sullivan for Bruno Schickadans. Hired to ride, Jeffrey Alderson. Number five was a vet scratch. Six is Ag Gershwin Toon, conditioned by Louis Cappy for Shanique Johnson and Lincoln Radhay, partnered by Kirk Johnson. Claiming field to run, six furlongs on the main track. It's the Monday opener from Fort Erie in four minutes.
horses are making their way back to the six furlong starting point for the first race. Starting gate taking position at the six furlong point. Time running out for the first race. Superfecta, rolling pick three, rolling daily double. Trifecta exacta, win place and show wagers. Now approaching the gate, readying to step in. Third choice, Union Appreciation goes in. Favored, keep going. Loquacious going to serve as the field's long shot. Rapid beat is eight to one in the wagering market. A Gershwin tune taking two to one action. Stand by for a start. They're at the post. They're off for program 28 of the season at Fort Erie Racetrack and it's rapid beat beating them all out of there very handily. Then Union Appreciation, right along the inside, Keep Going is going to latch on from third. A Gershwin tune, fourth on the outside, and after a tentative beginning, about six more lengths back of the group is Loquacious, the longest on the board. So into the turn they go with Rapid Beat and Union Appreciation together, waiting to get the word go is Keep Going from back in third, a Gershwin tune. Trying to go past that one on the outside from fourth, and lots of work to do from the back end for Loquacious. The opening quarter was a snappy 22 and 3. Union Appreciation, Chris Husbands, trying to haul down the tempo setting. Rapid beat. Three wide into the stretch will be keep going. Four wide at Gershwin Tune. And getting the rail run will be Loquacious from the backfield. They're in the stretch after a half of 45 and 2. And it's Union Appreciation coming by. 
Loquacious has come on through at 7-1. to one. Loquacious was way back most of the way. And he's going to be first to the wire under Juan Crawford. Loquacious to win. Keep going second. Union Appreciation was third. At Gershwin Toon was fourth. Last to first, rail running winner. In the opener in Fort Erie for Loquacious. 110 and 4. Race time recap. 22 and 3, 4 furlongs, 45 and 2. And the first race, 6 furlong running time, 110 and 4 for Loquacious when made official. Loquacious for the victory photograph. Wins in the debut for trainer Beverly Chubb. The five-year-old Bay Gelding by Quality Road from Wildcat Lily by D. Wildcat. Bred in Kentucky by Rontos Racing Stable. Owned by Catherine Morissette, now trained by Beverly Chubb. And the winning ride by Juan Crawford. First and four starts this year, the third career win. Loquacious in the first. Runs the six furlongs, one ten and four. Seventeen ten on the win ticket by Loquacious. Six fifty and two sixty. Keep going three thirty and two ten. Union appreciation two thirty. The exact to thirty six eighty. The trifecta ninety one forty. Dollar superfecta three two one and six. Fifty five dollars and thirty cents. Now posted the place photo from the first race.
for the best in simulcast and off-track wagering, be sure to visit Racebook at Fort Erie Racetrack, open noon to 7.30, Wednesday through Sunday, and a little later on Friday evenings to accommodate the end of the Woodbine Thoroughbred Program. For the complete list of tracks, see our website, forteryracing.com. That's Racebook, now open to serve you, noon to 7.30, Wednesday through Sunday at Fort Erie Racetrack, and open a little later on Friday night.
Here are the race two changes. Two optimistical, one pound over. Six, King of Awesome, racing two pounds over. Race two, start of the early pick four and a rolling pick three on double. Superfecta, trifecta exacta, win place and show wagers available on race two from Fort Erie.
Ryder is up, race two. Post parade of race two, led by Born to be King, number one, trained by Scott Fairley for Ace Racing Stable. The rider is Melanie Pinto. Radcliffe Racing Stable owns two Optimistical, trained by Barrington Cito with Chris Husbands to ride. Abstemious, number three, campaigns for Nancy and Bob Warner Stable. Kirk Johnson up. Ravendra Ragunath training, the only solution for. For Centennial Farms of Niagara, in the irons, Adamar Santos. Joan Mitchell trains five and other breeze for Hopefield Farm. Rider is Juan Crawford. And the six is King of Awesome, conditioned by Ken Elbew for Six Brothers Stable Aboard. Mark Buchanan. Claiming field of race two to run five furlongs on the main track. Starts the early 20 cent pick four. Starts a rolling pick three and daily double. And there's Superfecta, Trifecta Exacta, win place and show chances on race two from Fort Erie.
Starting gate is on the move to the five furlong point for race two. Riders now requested to bring their horses to the gate. Readying to step in. Last call for race two wagers. The favorite, born to be king, steps in willingly. Optimistical and Chris Husbands offered at nine to one. Class dropper, the only solution. Another breeze set to start on a barn change. King of Awesome, the long shot. Abstemious, last in. Stemmy is in. Standing by for a start. Race two in the gate. They're off. And a good beginning for Optimistical bounding out of there. Same with D only solution. Abstemius is going to join. Born to be King moves on through. Then another Breeze and King of Awesome are going to run two and three wide. And it's Born to be King and Melanie Pinto deciding to take matters into their own hands as the four to five post time favorite leading it over Abstemius into the turn. D only solution is back in third. That's another Breeze on the outside fourth. Looking for a last turn gain. Optimistical showed speed early is now way back in fifth. And three more lengths to the trailer. King of Awesome. Born to be king at head stretch. After a quarter in 22 and three. And born 
to be king. Looks like the king of this one in late stretch. One last challenger is another breeze. Born to be king. Another breeze making it interesting. Here is the line. Another breeze. Juan Crawford sweeps the first two on the program from way out of it. Over born to be king and then back to Epstemius and up to Mystical as another breeze. And Juan Crawford have scored this time at 4-1 to one in race two. Five one three two is posted on the board. Five one three two. Through running times of twenty two and three, four furlongs in forty five and two. And the five furlongs of race two covered in fifty seven and three by another breeze when posted official. Back to the winner's photograph is another breeze. Four-year-old Bay Gelding by Tis Now from Dixie and a Breeze by Dixieland Band. Bred in Ontario by Stan Dodson. Now trained by Joan Mitchell for Hopefield Farm, Juan Crawford sweeps the first two races on the program in the saddle. That's two in a row for another breeze, the second win in five starts this year. That five furlongs, 57 and three, when made official. Ten sixty to win on another breeze, 440 and 270. Born to be king, 240 and 210. Abstemious 230, the exact to 2330, the trifecta 5570, the dollar superfecta 513 and 2, $49.80. And the program's first rolling double, $73.90. We have a special happy birthday guest in the house, Ed Barkley. Happy birthday, Ed Barkley. Enjoy your day at Fort Erie Racetrack, Ed, from all your well-wishers. And we wish you many winning tickets on the program. From the third race, six zoological is a steward scratch. Race three, 
will be run at a mile and 70 yards on the main track. 19 minutes to race three.
Horses are on their way out for race three. Here's the race three field on post parade. Fire for effect is number one. Trained by James Goldenberg for Crimson Field Stable. The rider is Michael David. One fire for effect racing with inserts. Add inserts for number one, fire for effect. Two is four nights. Racing for the Fournier, Leith and Spada stable. Kirk Johnson aboard for trainer Mark Fournier. Ravinda Ragunath training for Sheila Mohan and Adam Arcento sits the saddle of three by Mark Andre. Seattle Treasure is number four, partnered by Jeffrey Alderson for Kevin Buttigieg. Wiley O'Reilly is number five. Mark Buchanan hired to ride by trainer Sharon Chicato and even Stephen Stables. Number six was a steward scratch. Race three to be run at a mile and 70 yards on the main track. Starts a rolling pick three and daily double. Superfecta, trifecta exacta, win place and show offerings on race three from Fort Erie.
Starting eight is in position for the third race at the one mile and 70 yard point. Race three field is uh, approaching the gate. Second choice fire for effect is in. The favorite four nights. My Mark Andre offered it seven to one. Seattle Treasure going to go off longest on the board. Wiley O'Reilly priced it four to one. Stand by for a start. Race three in the gate. They're off. Wiley O'Reilly with a pretty good beginning on the outside, but a little bit better for four nights. And my Mark Andre, then Seattle Treasure. Wiley O'Reilly the outside. And fire for effect will be the trailer into the turn. So it's four nights as even money choice set out to try to take it the entire mile and 70 yards, it appears, for Kirk Johnson. And they roll over to the back stretch with my Mark Andre tagging along in second. Wiley O'Reilly is up on the outside, gains a spot into the front trio, but had to earn it. Seattle Treasure and another length and a half to fire for effect, completing the field of five into the back stretch, and a quick enough opening quarter of 23 and four laid down by four nights. Four nights, Wiley O'Reilly decides to move right on up and join. Seattle Treasure is tagging along a snug third. That's my Mark Andre back and forth and fire for effect is starting to move from three wide out of the backfield. Going to the turn, four nights, still the best one, keeping Wiley O'Reilly at bay. Then Seattle Treasure, fire for effect has been under a sustained gain and widest, and two more lengths to my Mark Andre. Middle half speed was 48 and one, 24 and two in the second quarter. Fire for effect is looming bold out around Wiley O'Reilly. Four Knights made all of the pace and along the inside, Seattle Treasure has gotten ever closer. They still haven't reached Four Knights. Four Knights, fire for effect, tries to bear down one final time, but Four Knights at even money has gone all the way. Four Knights and Kirk Johnson wired the field. Fire for effect was second. Wiley O'Reilly third. Seattle Treasure was fourth. Four Knights runs the mile and 70 yards in 143.
Two, one, five, and four posted on the board from race three. Running times were 23 and four. Half a mile in 48 and one. Six furlongs, 112 and two. And the mile and 70 yards in 143, four nights, when made official. Back to the victory photograph is four knights. A six-year-old dark bay or brown gelding by More Than Ready. From Happy Now by Mr. Greeley. Bred in Kentucky by John Fielding and Fred Hertrick III. Trained by Mark Fournier for the Fournier Leith and Spatta Stable. The winning ride by Kirk Johnson, his 17th on the meet. First win in three starts this year, four knights to run the mile in 70 yards in 143 in the third. Four dollars to win, 220 and 210 on four nights. Fire for effect, 240 and 210. Wiley O'Reilly, 260. The exact 840, the trifecta 2940. The dollar superfecta, 215 and four, $27.65. Rolling daily double twenty eight fifty, and the program's first one dollar pick three, returning eighty dollars and twenty cents. And we had a claim of the winner from race three. Four Knights claimed for $4,500 by Amanda Enns. Taking over training will be Daryl Ezra. Four Knights goes to the shed row of Daryl Ezra after the claim out of race three by Amanda Enns. Our live racing schedule right through to the end of October, coming to you every Monday and Tuesday, first post at 1 p.m. That's our live racing schedule. Still close to six more weeks to go to the end of October, Monday and Tuesday, 1 p.m. first post. For the racing schedule and much more, including the HD live stream, visit FortErieRacing.com. Weight changes in race four. One simply at Zoomer, two pounds over. Two out class, one pound over. Five spending spree, four pounds over. Seven step it up Stephanie, three pounds over. The eight story straight, four pounds over. And there is a missing workout for nine smart and quick. From September 17th, four furlong breeze, in 50 and four. That's the missing workout for nine smart and quick. 17 minutes to fourth race post time. The fourth race will start this program's 20 cent pick five.
Horses have moved into the walking ring for the fourth race. Riders up. Here's the fourth race field on post parade, led by Simply Ad Zoomer, number one. Mark Buchanan riding, trained by William Purdy for even Stephen Stables. Two outclass racing for Ryan Anthony, Jeffrey Alderson. Still unreal is number three. Conditioned by Beverly Chubb for horsepower racing. One Crawford aboard. Pippi is number four. Partnered by Melanie Pinto. Trained by James Goldenberg for Ascot Stud. Spending spree is number five. Campaigning for Roger Husmatelli with Max Bedell. Six is Wick and Sense. Races for Michael Bennett with Chris Husbands in the saddle.
Step It Up Stephanie is number seven, trained by Rich Davis for Bruno Schickadans and partnered by Michael David. Starry Straight is number eight, trained by Ashley Burness for Colebrook Farms. The jockey is Helen Vanek. Smart and Quick number nine, owned by Jim Pearson, conditioned by Kendra Wichorek, and the rider is Omar Moreno. Metia Regis, number 10, campaigning for Cindy Musto, and in the saddle, Isabel Wentz. In the fourth race, number nine, Smart and Quick, breezed on September 17th, four furlongs in 50.4 seconds. That's a missing workout for number nine, Smart and quick. The fourth race, start of the daily, 20 cent pick five. Starting gate moving into position at the five and a half furlong point for race four. Still time for the 20 cent pick five. Rolling pick three and double. Superfecta, trifecta, exacta, win place and show. Gate is in position for race four. They're approaching the gate. Simply as Zoomer offered it seven to one, first in. Outclass, Jeffrey Alderson at three to one. Juan Crawford in search of the triple with Stella Unreal. Now it co favored five to two Pippi. Spending spree up in double digits.
Second longest on the board, Wicken Sense. Three to one action on Step It Up Stephanie. Ellen Vanek partners long shot story straight. Fifty to one longest, smart and quick. And the gray Metea Regis completing the line. Stand by for a start. Race four is in the gate. They're off. Slowly out of the gate with spending spree far back of the group. From the outside, Step It Up Stephanie flashes early speed on the outside flank of Spending Spree, Pippi, and Outclass going to take matters into her own hands. Wicken Sense is back mid-pack on the flank of Simply Azumer. Spending Spree, then Metea Regis, and Smart and Quick will be the last one to arrive into the turn. Step It Up Stephanie is pressuring Outclass to go some speed. 22 and 4, the opening quarter. Step it up, Stephanie and Michael David have seized the top of the stretch lead from outclass. Pippany is back there in third, and simply Azumer is saving ground along the inside. The top end target is all. Step it up, Stephanie. 45 and 4 at the half. Step it up, Stephanie at 5 to 2 is a long gone on this field. Pippi well back in second. Metea Regis on the extreme outside, and it's a romp for Step It Up Stephanie. Here's the place battle. Metea Regis runs up for second, gunning down Pepe, who is third. Simply Azumer was fourth. Outclass only fifth best as Step It Up Stephanie won in a romp in 105. Seven ten four one is posted from the fourth race. Seven ten four one. Running times recap: the quarter twenty two and four, four furlongs forty five and four, and the five and a half furlong running time in one o five. Step it up, Stephanie. One posted official. Step it up, Stephanie back for the victory photograph. The Dark Bear Brown, three-year-old filly by Amiz Holiday, from Miss Regionella by Bold Executive, bred in Ontario by Rita Schnitzler and Sandy Giffen, trained by Rich Davis for Bruno Schickadans, in the saddle for his ninth win, apprentice Michael David. Shredding the maiden status, stepping up Stephanie, runs the five and a half furlongs in 105.
740 the win price on Step It Up Stephanie. 710 exact to $60.50. The trifecta, $197.30. $1 superfecta, $456.70 for the combination of 71041. Rolling daily double 1280. And the pick three ended on the fourth race, $54.55. There was a claim from the fourth race. Number five, Spending Spree, claimed for $4,500 by Bruno Schickadans, going to the care of new trainer Elliot Sullivan. Spending Spree moves to the shed row of Elliot Sullivan after the claim for $4,500 by Bruno Schickadans. These changes in race five, one Maxima only, and two Fantastic Breeze, stewards, scratches of one and two. Three JMR Awesome Silence will race two pounds over. Five, Hee Haw, one pound over. Six, Make It Rain, two pounds over. The eight, Trinity Thunder, one pound over. And nine, Royal Fanfare, four pounds over. 17 minutes to post time to race five from Fort Erie Racetrack. Start of the late 20 cent pick four.
Riders up for race five. Here's post parade for race five. Numbers one and two scratched. Three is JMR Awesome Silence, trained by Ken Elbu for Six Brothers Stable. And in the saddle, Mark Buchanan. Text Me Too is number four, owned by Irene Adlam, trained by Ravendra Ragunath. Partnered by Omar Moreno. Hee Ha is number five, trained by Joe Humber for Terra Horse Farm. The jockey is Adamar Santos. Helen Vanek to partner six, Make It Rain, trained by Nick Mullaney Jr. for Colebrook Farms. Colebrook Farms also campaigning Homelander seven, trained by Ashley Burness, hired to ride Jeffrey Alderson. The eight is Trinity Thunder, conditioned by Noel Williams for Dale and Anthony Powell, and the rider is Sunny Singh. And number nine, Royal Fanfare, is trained by Abraham Catrian for Vinod Biheri, and the jockey is Jodine Anderson. Maiden claiming field in race five, five furlongs on the main track. Starts the late 20 cent pick four, starts a rolling pick three and double. There's Superfecta, Trifecta Exacta, win place and show. Race five coming right up from Fort Erie.
Starting gate is in position at the five furlong point. Time running out for the late 20 cent pick four and all race five wagers. Ninety two offering JMR Awesome Silence first in. Second longest on the board, text me too. Hee haw, one of three priced at ninety two along with Make It Rain. Homelander taking five to two action. Nine to five favoritism on Trinity Thunder. Long shot Royal Fanfare completes the line. Stand by for a start. Race five, all set, they're off. And a good even break there. JMR Awesome Silence along the inside. Make it rain and home lender flashing early speed. Hee haw down the middle. Text Me Too has taken a tuck in behind the speed. Trinity Thunder is forced to run out widest of all. And Royal Fanfare is seventh and last, but only five off the lead. JMR Awesome Silence flanked by Hee haw. Onto the turn. Make it rain. Trinity Thunder joins this front four and right behind them is Homelander but no more to offer yet from that one and then it's back to text me Two and Royal Fanfare the opening quarter was 22 and 4 make it rain makes the turn and seizes the lead Trinity Thunder now is asked to kick on on the grandstand side here comes Sunny Singh Trinity Thunder has mowed them down and draws off to win. It's Trinity Thunder expanding away to win it by five. Hee Haw was second. Make It Rain held third. Homelander was only fourth best against Royal Fanfare as Trinity Thunder trounced the field in 58 and four. Attention track crew, loose horse on the backstretch. Happy to report that Royal Fanfare has been brought under control by our extraordinary team of outriders on the backstretch without incident. Royal Fanfare lost the rider after the wire and has been caught on the backstretch. Back to the victory photograph is Trinity Thunder. 
Doug Payer Brown, four year old gelding by Giant Gizmo from Scenic Gulch by Thunder Gulch. Bred in Ontario by Sunrise Farm. Trained by Noel Williams for Anthony and Dale Powell. And the winning ride, his 20th on the meet for Sonny Singh. First career win, Trinity Thunder. Runs the five furlongs in 58 and four when made official. Four eighty on the win ticket by Trinity Thunder, the exact at twenty one seventy, the trifecta one hundred and forty four ninety, the dollar superfecta one hundred eighty eight dollars fifteen cents, for the combination of eight five six and seven. Rolling daily double eighteen twenty, the dollar pick three twenty two ten, and the early one dollar pick four two hundred and two dollars even. Now on display the fourth place photo showing seven Homelander edging nine Royal Fanfare. Here are the race six changes. Four, Dynamite Karma will race two pounds over. Six, Garrison's Charge should be noted as a first time gelding. Sixth race starts this program's final 20 cent pick three. 17 minutes to post time from Fort Erie Racetrack.
Riders up for the sixth. Here's the field of the sixth on track. Half lit is number one. Races for Julie and David Mathis with Juan Crawford aboard. Two is Act of Bob, conditioned by Michael Cohen for Fortunato Gulati, and in the saddle, Mark Buchanan. Kirk Johnson, rider of three, strategic vision, conditioned by Marty Drexler for 1569, 389 Ontario Incorporated. Four is Dynamite Karma, owned and trained by Nick Mullaney Jr., sharing ownership with Tom Pritchard, and the riding partner is Helen Vanek. Handsome Like Me is number five, has Chris Husbands up, Trained by Joe Humber for Michael Bellissimo. And six is Garrison's Garage. The rider is Melanie Pinto for trainer Mickey Neubauer. And the ownership of Ed Seltzer and JMC's Racing Stable. Their journey five and a half furlongs. The sixth race started this program's last 20 cent pick three.
Starting gate is taking position at five and a half furlongs for the sixth race. Still time for the Superfecta Daily Double. Trifecta exact win, place, and show on the sixth. They're approaching the gate. First into the gate is the recently claimed half lit. The consistent strategic vision takes gate three. Dynamite Karma and Helen Vanek. Longest on the board, handsome like me. Garrison's charge among the favorites. Active Bob down to two to one last click. Stand by for a start. Race six in the gate. They're off. Little tentatively away was half lit, but a quick recovery. Strategic Vision has gone to the front along with Active Bob and half lit has come back through into the front trio. Handsome Like Me is going to run out around Dynamite Karma, and the trailer is Garrison's Charge, but keeping good contact with the field. So it's Active Bob and Strategic Vision latched right onto that speed. They're joined by Dynamite Karma. Handsome Like Me almost four wide into the turn. Then Garrison's Charge is going to save the ground in on the fence and has passed the trailer half lit. Active Bob, the top end target, 22 and 1, sizzling the front quarter. Strategic Vision and Dynamite Karma are next best. And running through along the inside is Garrison's Charge, going to get the rail run. But it's still Active Bob that's still going over Dynamite Karma, Strategic Vision, Garrison's Charge, Active Bob went to the front at 9 to 5 and is long gone on this field. Here's the place battle. Strategic Vision rattled back for second over Dynamite Karma and Garrison's Charge, and it's Active Bob in a romp in 103, one fifth.
Well, you might have just witnessed history, ladies and gentlemen. By six one hundredths of a second, that may have been a track record. In the program listed at 103.27 and on the clock 103.21. So that appears to be a track record by six one hundredths of a second. Track record that had stood for 11 years. Back to the winner's photo. That's Active Bob, the dark bear brown four-year-old gelding by Super Speedy from Feather Wing by Rockport Harbor, bred in Ontario by Northern Dawn Stables, trained by Michael Cohen for Fortunato Galati, the winning ride by Mark Buchanan. And in addition to a win streak now at four in a row, it's a track record. It appears by six one hundredths of a second for Active Bob. Five ninety on the win ticket by Acta Bob. The exact is sixteen sixty. The trifecta thirty dollars ninety cents. Superfecta of two, three, four, and six, twenty nine dollars fifteen cents. The rolling daily double twenty one seventy. And the one dollar pick three ended on the sixth race, thirty eight dollars and forty five cents. The show photograph of the sixth race now on display. Become a member today of HPIBet.com, Horseplayer Interactive, and you'll get $100 deposited into your account. And you'll be automatically enrolled in the rewards program. You'll have the ability to watch four tracks at the same time on your laptop or device. And you can wager at the track or online on almost 500 tracks from around the world at any time. Check it out and join for free today if you have not already done so. Horseplayer Interactive across Canada, hpibet.com. In the seventh race, no changes and 17 minutes to post time.
From the sixth race, we had a claim of the winner. Number two, Active Bob, claimed for $12,500 by Bruno Schickadance, going to the care of trainer Elliot Sullivan. Bruno Schickadance claims the sixth race winner, Active Bob, and will go to the care and shed row of trainer Elliot Sullivan.
Riders up for race seven. Marriage counselor to lead out the seventh race post parade in Fort Erie, trained by Joe Humber for Gerald Erfel, and the ride goes to Adamar Santos. Big Time Louie is number two, conditioned by Sharon Chicato for even Stephen Stables aboard Mark Buchanan. Cause for Alarm, number three, trained by George Newland for Devin Borland and Keenan Davis. And the jockey is Howard Newell. Chris Husbands to ride for Bruno Schickadans, Elliot Sullivan, the connections of four, Waldorf. Tinker Ring is number five, races for Radcliffe Racing Stable, trained by Barrington Sido, and atop is Jeffrey Alderson. And the six is Zoomer Music, campaigning for Noel Williams with Melanie Pinto. The seventh race, claiming field. Six furlongs on the main track, start of the program's final, rolling double. And there's Superfecta, Trifecta, exact to win, place, and show on race seven, coming right up from Fort Erie.
Seventh race field making their way back to the six furlong starting point. Starting gate is in position for the seventh race. Now the horses approach the gate. Merge counselor offered at seven to two. Big time Louie going off favorite. Second choice, respect, cause for alarm. Waldorf and Chris Husbands offered it four to one. Tinker Ring at seven to one. Long shot Zoomer Music completes the line. Stand by for a start, race seven in the gate. They're off. Good even beginning for all. From the outside, it's Tinker Ring. And Zoomer Music is out fast. In between horses, Big Time Louie wants a part of the pace action. Marriage Counselor along in fourth. Flanked by a checked and taken back Tinker Ring. And back of the field, that's cause for alarm. So along the backstretch, it's Waldorf and Big Time Louie having at it. Stalked by Zoomer Music. Tinker Ring moves up again into fourth. Then cause for alarm looks to overtake the fading marriage counselor who's back to last on the turn. Big time Louie at even money, holding them at bay, but not by much. Waldorf and Zoomer Music at 17 to 1, still right there. Tinker Ring is re rallying. Cause for alarm tries to get going. Three more lengths to marriage counselor, the trailer. At the top of the stretch, it's Zoomer Music. Looming bold against the tempo setting. Big time Louie, 22 and 1, 45 and 2. Here comes Tinker Ring. Tinker Ring showing the clear air out in the middle of the track, trying to seize the lead from Big Time Louie. Big Time Louie or Tinker Ring? Big Time Louie or Tinker Ring down to the line. Big Time Louie might have got it just by the red blinkers, but it's a win photo against Tinker Ring. And then back to Cause for Alarm, looking for third, Big Time Louie and Tinker Ring. Head bobbing, win photo, one ten and 3.
2536 posted from the seventh race. 2536. Running time recap the quarter 22 and 1, 4 furlongs, 45 and 2. And the six furlong running time, one ten and three from the seventh. There's Big Time Louie back from the seventh race. The Dark Bear Brown four-year-old gelding by second in command from Danny's Carrot by Western Trick. Bred in British Columbia by Marianne Baumgartner and White House Stables. Now trained by Sharon Chicato for even Stephen Stables and the winning ride to Mark Buchanan. Four twenty on the win ticket by Big Time Louie. The exact is sixteen dollars. The trifecta is sixty two seventy. Superfecta of two five three and six, a hundred and fifty dollars forty five cents for the one dollar ticket. Rolling daily double sixteen forty, and the dollar pick three ended on the seventh race, eighteen dollars and thirty five cents. Seventh race win photo now on display. Here are the eighth race changes. Steward Scratch of one Leonard's Bay. Three, Captain Sydney has a jockey change to Juan Crawford. Four, World of Prospects, Steward Scratch. Six, Street Legal, Vet Scratch. Seven, Butterfly Strike, a Steward Scratch. Wagering options on the eighth are win in place, exacta, trifecta. There is no jackpot high five, carries over to tomorrow. No superfecta, no show wagering on the eighth. 17 minutes to post time.
Horses have moved into the walking ring for the eighth race. And the call is Riders Up for the eighth. Answering the call to post by Reinhold Nagel. The horses are stepping out for the eighth race. Old Danny Moe leading the eighth race post parade. And Kirk Johnson will ride for trainer Paula Losher and owner Robert Simonek. Captain Sydney, number three, races for Doug Carter with Juan Crawford. Seal Team Two is number five, conditioned by Sharon Chicato for even Steven Stables. And the mount goes to Michael David. Completing the field will be Madiero's boy. Omar Moreno in the saddle for trainer Scott Fairley and Ace Racing Stable. No Superfecta. No jackpot high five on the eighth. That'll carry over to tomorrow. Win in place, exacta, and trifecta on the eighth. That's win place, exacta, and trifecta on the eighth from Fort Erie.
Riders now under instruction to take their horses to the gate for the eighth. After this event, we're back with you tomorrow. First post time at 1 p.m. That's every Monday and Tuesday. Live racing action at Fort Erie right through to the end of the meet on October 26th. Ready to step in. Slight favorite, Bold Animo, is first in. Captain Sydney offered it three to one. Seal team two at seven to two. Bad Yeto's Poi at 5-2, to two, a very even board. They're in line. Set for a start for the eighth. They're off. Good beginning for all, and it's Seal Team 2. Surging to the lead for Michael David as they leave the chute. Over Captain Sidney, Bold Animo, and Bad Yeto's Poi is going to bide time on the outside fourth. So it's Seal Team 2 widening away five or six lengths. Putting on some early speed here is SEAL Team 2, who will need to keep going. Captain Sidney down along the inside. As they go to the turn, then Bad Yeto's Boy is on the outside of Bold Animo in between horses. SEAL Team 2, the top end target, 22 and 4. The margin has shrunk to about four lengths, moving up second on the outside. Now on the inside, Captain Sidney retakes second from Bold Animo, and Bad Yeto's Boy is the trailer. So it was an honest tempo, 45 and 3, 22 and 4 again in the second split. And it's SEAL Team 2 trying to take it all the way from Captain Sidney and Bold Animo and Bad Yeto's boy. SEAL Team 2, Michael David went to the front. He looks back over his right shoulder and loves what he sees because he's stolen one from the front end here unless Bad Yeto's boy comes and gets him. Here's the wire, SEAL Team 2 hanging on to Bad Yeto's boy. And then Captain Sidney and Bold Animo last to finish. SEAL Team 2 and Michael David did it again, 117, one fifth. Five eight three two is posted from the eighth race. Five eight three two. SEAL Team 2 is back for the 8th race victory photo. 
A dark pear brown five-year-old gelding by Milwaukee Brew from Torch Cherry by Silver Deputy. Bred in Ontario by Stuart Simon. Russ and Brent McClellan. Trained by Sharon Chicato for the Even Steven Stables. Michael David in the saddle for the winning ride. Seal Team 2, the third win in seven starts this year. Runs the six and a half furlongs, 117, one fifth. Five fifty and three thirty on Seal Team Two. Bad Yeto's boy three twenty for the place. No show wagering. The exact at twenty three ten. The trifecta fifty four fifty on the two dollar ticket. There was no superfecta and no jackpot high five. The carryover just under four thousand five hundred dollars in the jackpot high five to the final race on Tuesday. The last rolling double seventeen dollars even. The program's last dollar pick three, $31.30. Late pick four, $95.20. And this program's one dollar pick five, $387.80. Our live racing schedule every Monday and Tuesday through to the end of October. Closing day, October 26th. And in the meantime, every Monday and Tuesday, live action from Fort Erie Racetrack, loading them into the gate at 1 p.m. The Turfside Dining Room is now open to host and serve you. Reservations are required. Call 905-871-3200, extension 3617. The Turfside Dining Room, a delicious and inexpensive way to enhance your enjoyment of your day at the races. In the Turfside Dining Room at Fort Erie Racetrack. Become a member today of hpibet.com and you'll get $100 deposited into your account. Membership includes automatic enrollment in the rewards program while watching four tracks at the same time on your laptop or device. You can wager on site or online on almost 500 tracks from around the world. Canada's Horseplayer Interactive. Check it out and join for free today if you don't already have your account at hpibet.com. Racebook is open for your simulcast enjoyment from Wednesday through Sunday, noon to 7.30 and a little later on Friday night to accommodate the end of the Woodbine Thoroughbred Program. For the complete listing of simulcast tracks offered, visit our website at forteriracing.com. Your TV Niagara is your home for post time from Fort Erie Racetrack every Friday evening at 7 p.m. and Saturday afternoon at 12.30 p.m. Your TV is local cable channel 700 on the Cochico system in Fort Erie, Welland, Niagara Falls, and the entire Niagara region. Every Friday evening and Saturday afternoon, it's post time from Fort Erie Racetrack on Your TV Niagara. Now on behalf of our horse people, the TV production team, staff, management, and the racing officials, thanks a lot for being with us for Live Racing 2021 from Fort Erie Racetrack. Live Racing resumes tomorrow, September 21st, post time 1 p.m. 
and a jackpot high five carryover of more than $4,400 into the final race on Tuesday. Always available on the web at forteriracing.com. Until Tuesday afternoon, good afternoon from Fort Erie Racetrack and forteriracing.com.